and welcome back to my channel. It's Love Always Endures. So for those of you who have been curious about my skincare routine, this is the video. Just so you know, my skin is not perfect. It is far from perfect. Um, I'm an oily girl, so I have what's called acne prone skin. I'm very susceptible to breakouts due to dirt being attracted to oil. So yeah, um, I do have like a standard regimen that I do every morning and every night to kind of keep my skin as clear as possible. I do get regular hormonal breakouts. Other than that, my skin stays fairly clear, but my biggest struggle is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Y'all, those dark spots that come after pimples are my struggle. A pimple might last me two or three days. Those dark spots might last me two or three months. So it's a constant battle for me to get those taken care of. And there's a couple of things that I can do to keep them under control, such as exfoliating and my dark spot corrector. Those are the two big, big things that I use and have as a part of my regimen regularly. Um, just to give you a brief overview before you watch the video, um, I cleanse, tone, and moisturize my face. There's a couple of things I do in between, but I do that every morning and every night. And then twice a week I use a facial scrub and once a week I use a mask. So that's basically the rundown on everything. It's pretty simple. I know it sounds pretty strenuous, but it's really, really simple. So um, from here, oh, oh, something that a lot of people don't know is you're supposed to start an anti-aging regimen in your 20s. So I've been on this journey for some years now and it's important for people to realize you're not supposed to wait until the fine lines and the wrinkles and the crow's feet show up to start taking action. So there are lots of products out there that help with that sort of a thing. They're preventative measures for the most part. It's not to be retroactive, it's to be proactive. So be in charge of your skin. If you have trouble skin, find what works for you, okay? Find what works for you. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below and I'll be sure to answer everything. I hope I'm of help to someone out there and that you enjoy this video, so stay tuned. So as you can see, this is my pre-bedtime skincare regimen. First, I'm going to use my Clarisonic Mia and my Olay Cleanser, which is Olay Minimizing Clean Foaming Cleanser. It's really great for people with oily skin because it's oil-free. I wet it, I wet my face, put a little bit on the Clarisonic itself, and I start using the Sonic Brush. The Clarisonic is designed to be used for 60 seconds at a time. It pulsates when it is time for you to change areas of your face. First, you use it on your forehead area for 20 seconds. And then you move down to your nose, mouth, and chin area. After that, it will vibrate and you can use it in your cheek area for 10 seconds on one side and on the other side for 10 seconds as well. By the end of it, you're all done. At this point, I'm just rinsing the product off of my face. I'm going to pat dry a little bit and move on to the next step. As I mentioned, I use a facial scrub twice a week. I use it on Mondays and Thursdays. It's the Alba Botanical Acne Dote Face and Body Scrub. It's also oil-free, and what I love about it is that it actually has sacasilic acid in it, which is basically an acne medication. This is a maximum strength scrub, and it's not only oil-free, but it contains no parabens, no phthalates, and no synthetic fragrances. It's also comprised of 100% vegetarian ingredients. After my skin has been cleansed, it's time to tone with witch hazel and a spray bottle. I protect my piercing here. Toning basically balances out your pH after you've cleansed. I use the e.l.f. eye roller and I get underneath my eyes. It's great for puffiness and dark circles. After that, I pair my eye roller with the e.l.f. eye cream. I use it on my smile line. And then I also use it on the corner of my eyes and my eyelids to prevent crow's feet. Make sure when you're applying your eye cream, you use your middle finger and that you're dabbing instead of rubbing. The eye area is very, very delicate and it's very important that you don't damage any of the skin tissue under and around your eye. Next up, one of my good friends. This is the Equate version of the Clinique Dark Spot Corrector. I use this on all of those post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation marks that I told you about. I have several of them on a regular basis and I'm constantly combating them. I do enjoy this product. It is a little pricey. It's about $12.88, $13 if you round up at Walmart. I can only imagine how much the Clinique brand itself is. 
as you can see I'm kind of working with what I've got the product is on its last leg and so I was basically trying to get the last little bit of everything out of the tube after I put everything away I try to clean up as I go I pull out my elf as you can see I love elf I pull up my elf zit zapper this thing is amazing it's comprised of a lot of different things um, but it goes on really smooth it's a roll-on and you just hit all of those pimples that you see and the ones that you can't see the ones you know that are coming that are still under the surface of the skin now y'all know I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging and not talk about hair at least once this is my natty cocoa hair and scalp oil it's amazing I love how light it is I put it on my hair at night and this is the hot oil treatment quote unquote that I had mentioned in my very first tutorial video I massage it into my scalp I get the part out of the side of my head and I just enjoy the mini massage that I get with this oil before I put my headscarf on for the night So I'm going to use this in five minutes. I give everything a chance to absorb into my skin before I moisturize. Now that I'm back, I'm just going to go ahead and take my Olay Regenerous Night Recovery Cream Moisturizer, dab it on my face and rub it in. This stuff is amazing. It goes on very, very light and creamy and it helps with skin cell turnover. And with all facial moisturizers, we rub in an upward motion. Last but not least, I move on to my eyebrow treatment. I basically put some wild growth oil in an empty mascara wand that I bought on eBay for about a dollar. And once I get all the excess off, I put it on my eyebrows. This is something that I do in between brow threading when my brows are looking a little scraggly and need some help growing out before my next threading session. From here, I put my head scarf on, making sure to leave my piercing out. And I take a little bit of the Evolution of Smooth Lip Balm and I use that right before bed for added moisturization throughout the night. All right, so you watched the video. I hope everything I said made sense. Um, again, you kind of have to cater it to your skin. There are four types, oily, dry, combination, and normal. Those normal people, y'all are incredibly, incredibly blessed to have skin that is normal. Um, most people have one of the other three. Uh, I've been oily all my life. I wake up in the morning, do my little thing, and by lunchtime I look like a light bulb. I don't use blotting papers or anything else. I just let the oil come as it comes. It is naturally who I am. And honestly, there is a reason for the oil. Oil is moisture, and moisturizing prevents wrinkles. So we moisturize now, so we don't wrinkle later. That's the plan, that's the goal, that's the whole point of this tutorial. So take care of your skin now, when you think it doesn't matter, so that when it does matter, you can stay looking youthful and young, okay? Another thing, those of you who are oily, who feel like you don't need to put a moisturizer on your face because you're oily, that's not true. Even though I forgot a moisturizer today. But that's not true. Because if you actually moisturize your skin, then your skin cells will pick up on the fact that they're being moisturized and they'll kind of back off. Opposed to if you don't moisturize your skin, you'll actually be more oily. So basically you want to give yourself a leg up by putting moisturizer on. Even if you're oily, just make sure it's a shine control moisturizer, okay? And always, always, always make sure you moisturize in the night and in the day and make sure at night it doesn't have SPF and in the day it does. It doesn't matter if you're black, I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're white. It doesn't matter what ethnicity you are. It doesn't matter what your skin tone is. Everyone needs protection from the sun. That is the biggest reason why fine lines and wrinkles show up, okay? So, that's the goal. Clear, beautiful skin, okay? I have huge pores, I have dark spots. My skin is not perfect. However, it is on a schedule and it is on a routine and my skin knows when something changes and that's what matters. I hope this video was beneficial to someone out there who might not know how to kickstart their skincare routine. Moisturizing, toning, cleansing, all of those things are very, very important and they all have a purpose. Um, there's a lot of different schools of thought out there about how it's supposed to be done. That's up to you. But taking care of your skin is something you can do now. It's being a good steward of the body you were put in. That's how I see it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next week.